it was finished in 1904, they started in 1901. And he was a shoemaker from Finland, his name was Teppala, but he changed it to Davison. See these poles coming down? You take and put a horse on that side and you could turn the whole mill there. Depending if the wind's real strong, you wouldn't want it going right in, it'd be too much power. Watch your head because it's low clearance. You've got to remember this is early 1900s. People would come with their wagons and they'd throw the grain up in here. They'd camp in his yard and he'd grind the grain. And the next day, if the creeks didn't rise, they could go home. You'd have to grind a long time to get a few hundred pounds done. This here is what powers the whole mill. This shaft is turning from the windmill. It goes down there and then you got that set of gears you've seen down there. And the top stone would turn, but you figure with that windmill turning out there and all the wind, the building was shaking and the stones were making a rack and it was dusty. I'm sure it wasn't a pleasant place to work. The Slice from WDSE WRPT.